In this part, students use a spoon gong system to review their understanding of how to produce sound and to develop a simple model of how sound travels. The focus question is, how does sound travel from the source to the receiver? Here's what you'll need from the kit. For each student, one 40 centimeter string, one metal spoon, and one five ounce paper cup. You'll need a spoon gong system to explore. To prepare the 40 centimeter strings, use a science resources book and wrap string around its way string tightly to the thinnest place on the spoon. Use a sharp pencil to poke a tiny hole in the center of the bottom of a paper cup. Gently push the free end of the string through the hole and pull it through so it is easy to handle. Fold a piece of masking tape securely over the end of the string so that the string can't be pulled through. And describe it as another way to investigate vibration and sound. Tell students this system is made up of parts. Have students help you to identify the parts of the spoon gong system, spoon, string, and cup. Show students how to hold the cup over one ear and tap the spoon gently with a pencil. Then grab the spoon to stop the vibrations. Tell students they will each get a spoon gong system to explore. Challenge students to work with their spoon gongs to make these observations. Get the spoon to make a soft sound. Listen to the sound. Stop the sound. Repeat making a loud sound. Students should work in pairs and help each other use the spoon gong and make sound observations. Take minutes to explore the system and meet the volume challenge. Students may need time to practice coordinating the actions of holding the cup to their ears and hitting the spoon. For some, it might be easier for one person to hold the cup and listen while the other taps the spoon with a pencil. Students may need a reminder that the spoon should hang free and not touch other things. Call students and listen while the other taps the spoon with a pencil. Students may need a reminder that the spoon should hang free and not touch other things. Drawing. Label the spoon sound source and the ear sound receiver. Introduce the focus. So they could pinch the string when the system is making a sound and see if the sound stops. Tell students that they will have a chance to work with the spoon gong to explore what is vibrating and how the sound travels from the source to the receiver. Distribute a copy of notebook sheet spoon gong systems to each student. Ask students to talk with a partner about how the pictures are different. Give students a few minutes to try the different cup positions and see how position changes the sound they hear from the spoon gong. Cup pointing toward the receiving ear cup pointing up to the ceiling, and cup pointing away from the receiving ear. That the sound was louder when the cup was pointing toward their ears, and softer or muffled when the cup was pointing away from their ears. They should also have discovered that if they pinch the string, the sound stops. Refer to the picture on the board of the spoon gong system and ask for ideas about how to show the vibrations that are producing the sound. Draw a few curved lines on each side of the spoon to indicate the vibrations. Direct students' attention to the picture of the spoon gong with the cup pointing toward the ear. Tell them to draw lines around the spoon to show the vibrations. Then, they should draw how the sound vibrations travel to your ear. Tell students that what they have made is a model. The lines represent what we can't see, the vibrations. Ask a student volunteer to come to the board and draw the model, showing how the sound travels from the source to the receiver. As the student draws, ask the class if the vibrations travel through the string. How do they know? Elicit that if the string is pinched, the sound stops, so the string must be vibrating. Have the student at the board draw lines by the string. 
Students might also have observed that the masking tape and the bottom of the cup were vibrating. They can feel the vibrations. The sound is then focused by the walls of the cup and travels through the air to the ear.